How will I find Luke if I've no idea where to go? So, how's the inspiration coming along? Hard to get, as always. I haven't figured out exactly why the other lighthouse keepers stopped communicating. Anyway, it will come to me eventually, I guess. Of course it will. I'll leave you alone then. See you. Thanks, John. Bye. So we just need to attach this here. This cable goes there. All right, all set. Let there be light. <laughs> wow, that is strong. Blinded me for a moment there. Wait, what's that? It's, it's a light there on the horizon. Flashing red. It must be. It has to be Luke. Let's go. How do you know that? Didn't you hear? Either you have very good hearing or mine is already in decline, dear. Or your imagination is too fertile. Don't say that. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I know, dear. Look! Wow! I told you. Now that I can hear. Well, you're right. I guess my ears are too old. No, you're not too old. Oh, thank you very much, little devil. Sorry. I'm actually very lucky to have a grandmother like you. Nice say, Van. Now let's see the fireworks. They're so beautiful. And we're the only ones allowed to see it from up here. Dan must have done something really amazing. Well, don't forget, he had a great team with him. But yes, he did. I'm so proud of him. Aren't you? <laughs> Ever since the day he was born. You do know he did this for you. For me? Whatever do you mean? Well, frankly, I don't understand much of it. But scientists are saying that if we don't change the way we live, the conditions for life could deteriorate and, and with it, our quality of life it won't affect me. Maybe not even your parents, but your generation and beyond. Your father couldn't stand the idea of you going through that. So he put his entire soul into solving this problem. And, and did he? It seems like it. It seems that you and all the other kids won't have to worry about it after all. My dad. This. You know what, Grandma? What, sweetheart? Sometimes I whine too much. I throw tantrums. I don't listen to him. I don't like it, Grandma. I don't know why I do it, but one time I was so mean to Mummy that later I found her crying in the bathroom. Daddy came to me that night and didn't say a word. He just looked at me with the saddest eyes I've ever seen. And I didn't care then. I... I'm not a good person, am I? Oh, sweetheart. 
you are just like him when he was your age. Like me, even. And he turned out great, didn't he? But I didn't end up that bad, either. They raised you well, dear. You are perfect, just as you are. And you'll turn out exactly like the ones you love. You... you know I love you, don't you? Me too, dear. I know you. Hold on. John, isn't it? Right. You remembered me. John... Stevens? That's right. What are you doing here? It's been a while. Well, I heard the good news. You are the man of the moment. I thought I would stop by and shake hands. Oh, thanks a lot. Um, that's, that's very nice of you. I know this has nothing to do with me, but I just wanted to congratulate you myself. And who knows? Have a couple of beers, meet some people, maybe even dance a little. <laughs> Great party. Thank you. And yeah, it is. Why aren't you at your own party? If you don't mind me asking. I... I needed to get away for a while, you know? Life has been chaotic for so long. The waiting and the not knowing, and now suddenly things kind of worked out. It's strange and overwhelming. I can only imagine. What you did is unbelievable. It feels like a dream, to be honest. It feels like I'm waiting to wake up to find out reality is a nightmare where my family has left me. My project failed and I have nowhere to go and no one to turn to. Come on, Luke. You know that's not true. I know. I... It seems like a long time ago I decided I would commit to this. I don't think anyone understood why I had to do it, but I just couldn't not. And it seems that everything is on the edge. That all I conquered is so fragile and about to crumble. Here I am, with a party thrown due to the company I set up. The best of possible worlds. A supporting family rooting and happy for me. It really is overwhelming. Too good to be true. So I, I needed a moment to catch my breath. I can't imagine what you've been through. One can't quit, right? No, one cannot. I think I'd better leave you in peace for a while. No, please stay. 
I sometimes get away from people to be able to breathe, but it's, it's not that I like being alone. I understand. How are Rita and Anne doing? They're fine. Thanks for asking. Rita is always cheerful. God, how I envy her. As for Anne, she's been growing, you know? So, so quickly. Very soon she won't be my little Anne anymore. It's so strange, satisfyingly surreal, and there is a, a kind of sadness seeing my little girl bloom into a woman. An egotistical kind of sad, I have to confess. They grow up, but they never stop feeling like our little baby, right? I try not to say it to her that often now, but yes, that's exactly how it feels. Luke? Hello there. Hi. You don't seem to be here for the wedding reception, am I right? Wedding reception? <laughs> you don't need to play the fool with me. I wasn't invited to this as well, don't worry. You just need to jump the railing ahead and get yourself a wonderful treat. I recommend the lobster and the filet mignon. Avoid the shrimps though, they taste funny. I... Uh, thank you. You're welcome. It's delicious. Do you know whose wedding it is? No, not a clue. I just live nearby and the catering at this place is generally fantastic. Okay, so uh, I'll be right back. Oh, and hey, if they cut the cake, please come and get me. It also looks delicious. I love raspberries. Uh, sure, don't worry. Have fun. Just married? Huh. Who might the happy couple be? Did, did, did something just happen? What? Hello, sorry to bother you. Do you do requests? Hi! Well, we haven't got much rehearsed. We could play the wedding march again, the one that initiated the ceremony. It's a lovely piece for strings and harp. Even though we have no harp here, everyone at the end congratulated us as they could hear it. Weird, isn't it? Anyway, do you want to request any particular song? We may know it. Thanks. Actually, I wasn't here for the beginning of the ceremony, and people have been praising the music so much. Could you please play it? Even just a little of it? Sure we can. Let's do it, guys. Ready? Ready! Hey. Hello. How's it going? I'm great, thanks. You? Yeah, I'm good. Great wedding, isn't it? Oh, it's really beautiful. How do you know the happy couple? Well, uh, I'm actually a friend of the bride's father, Luke. Luke Williams? I'm a good friend of his. Really? My name's Simon. Oh, nice to meet you, Simon. I'm John. Where do you know Luke from? I worked with Luke and Michael when they first started the company. I left right before the company boomed. It wasn't exactly what I wanted to do with my life. Have you been in touch with them? Not as much as I wanted, but yeah, a little. I tried to talk to them today, but still haven't been able to. 
how come? Well, Luke's still inside the church with his little lamb. And Mike, well, as always, he's talking to a woman. To a woman? Don't get me wrong, he's a wonderful, wonderful guy. But he's kind of a player, you know. Sarah, the lady he's talking to, is on the other hand very sweet. Oh. She does seem lovely. Does she work for the company? No, no. She's an old friend of Luke and Rita's. I don't know much about her other than she's just a really nice person. And, well, she loves dogs and musical theatre. Always going on about it. I can introduce you to her if you like. As soon as Mike over there lets her catch some air. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's not what I meant. But thanks, Simon. I think I'll grab something to eat. Go ahead. The lobster's particularly tasty. Oh, thanks for the tip. See you. Isn't it too cold? Sorry? The water. Oh, no, my, it's perfect. It's so hot today, the coldness feels wonderful. Care to try? (laughs) No, thank you. I'm John, John Stevens. Hi, I'm Carol. Were you here for the ceremony? I couldn't make it on time. I was. It was so beautiful. What a shame. The beginning was magical. There was a man by the door preventing all of us from going in. No one knew what was going on. And then the string quartet began to play. The doors from the church opened and we went in to see Anne in her gorgeous dress smiling at us from the altar. Oh, really? That's a twist. It was so beautiful. Again, shame you couldn't make it. Indeed. Well, I think I'll say congratulations to the happy couple then. Go do that. I think you'll have to wait a while. They're still inside, and that man is blocking the door again. Oh, uh, I'll see what I can do. Bye. Bye. Michael? Sorry, do I know you? Uh, Yes, we, we met before. I needed to talk to you. I'm having a conversation. Can it wait? No, it's urgent, Michael. What's the urgency about? Just leave me be, man. I really need to talk to him. I'm sure something must have gone wrong with the company. Has to be. But I need to get his attention first. Hello! Hi! Hey! I was saying to Neil here how much I loved the ceremony. My god, it was fantastic, wasn't it? It really was. I was actually moved by parts of it. See, Neil? I told you. You're so insensitive. Oh. Come on now, Heather. Me crying my guts out, and you just standing there like a freaking rock. You know I don't cry easily. It's called insensitiveness. Robotism. I don't know. Shall we change the subject, please? Yeah, yeah. So, what's your name? I'm John. I'm Neil, and this here is Heather. Nice to meet you. Uh, Do you know the bride or the groom? I'm a close friend of the bride. So are we. I don't think we've ever met. How do you know Anne? Anne? You know, uh, I used to spend my summer holidays in a house my parents had in the woods. Her parents had a house there too, so... uh... Really? We heard a lot about their little house. She always says how she's had such a lucky childhood, being able to explore such fascinating places. I've never been there. Is it as beautiful as she says? Oh, you should definitely go when you have the chance. It really is. We have to ask Anne to take us on a tour there. And Eli. Yes, of course. It's Anne and Eli's now. Do you think she's going to change her name? Anne D. Levitt? Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? I think she really likes Williams. Anyway, do you know where they are? I still haven't been able to talk to them. They are still inside the church, but you may need to wait. 
No one is allowed to go in, and there's a guy there making sure that no one does. Oh, thanks. It was nice meeting you. Same, and come by whenever you want. Ciao. Bye. Sorry, sir. The ceremony has already ended. The happy couple and close family are taking some photos inside. Please kindly wait outside. Oh, okay. I really need to talk to him. I'm sure something must have gone wrong with the co has to be. But I need to get his attention first. You seem a bit lost. Waiting for the uh, married couple. You? I can't stop playing the ceremony over in my mind. The moment the music started and the doors opened, I want my wedding to be like this one. So, you still by yourself? Yeah. I'm actually about to leave, but I still want to have a word with Mike and Luke. Anything I can do to help? <laughs> If you could find a way to distract Sarah, or maybe get Luke out to the church. You don't sing, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. If you'd go to the bandstand and start singing something from Phantom of the Opera, or Cats, or even Hamilton, Sarah would instantly ignore Michael and focus on the song. That's guaranteed. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Want us to play something else? I was wondering, could you play anything from a musical? From a musical? Well, we actually performed in an amateur production of Freedom Again a couple of weeks ago. Really? And would they let you play something from it? They actually encouraged us to advertise it. Just a little piece of it, of course. Oh, that's great. Could you play it, please, then? <laughs> of course. Ready, guys? Ready! Please, sir. I told you already, haven't I? Kindly wait outside. Please. Oh, yes. Right. God, how I love this song. It's from that new musical I was telling you about. Let me just finish listening to this number and we'll continue our chat, alright? Of course. Hi, Michael. Hey. Do you have a moment? Well, if it's just a moment. I wanted to talk to you about your company. Wait a minute. I know you from somewhere. You used to work for us, right? I know. You were fired. Ah, you heard that I succeeded Luke as a CEO of the company, and you're trying your luck with me now. Am I right? Sorry, pal. I'm not lowering the moat for you. Wait, what? Luke is no longer the CEO. Please, don't come on all innocent on me, man. No, seriously, I had no idea. What happened? You... you really have no idea. Well, he stepped down. That's what happened. Why? I have no idea, if you can believe that. He asked me to trust him, with no questions asked and no explanations. Absolutely nothing. Nada. Zilch. And as a best friend, I both wanted to trust him and ensure everything was fine. But well, here I am, still as clueless now as the day he stepped down. 
Is he still working for the company? Or... No. I have no idea what he's doing. But with the shares he's sold, he probably doesn't need to work for a while. Well, I, uh... Thanks, Michael. You're welcome. I need to talk to Luke. Uh, thanks again. He's inside the church with Anne and Rita. See ya. Halt! You're not good at taking directions, are you? I told you. The ceremony has already ended. No one is allowed to go in. You seem a bit lost. Waiting for the uh, married couple. You? I can't stop playing the ceremony over in my mind. The moment the music started and the doors opened, I want my wedding to be like this one. Want us to play something else? Could you play the song that started the ceremony? Sure. Ready, guys? Ready! This is it! The song that started the ceremony! Hello there, Luke. John, I haven't seen you in ages. Do you remember John, darling? John? Oh yes, by our little house in the woods, right? I'm so glad you could come to my wedding, John. How are you? I... I'm fine. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. Sorry to bring this up, but uh, may I ask you something, Luke? Sure. Tell me. I was talking to Michael and uh, he told me you left the company. I... Michael, he... Uh, <laughs> Anne, darling, isn't that the photographer looking for you? Oh, it is. I'll let you two speak. We'll talk later, John. <laughs> See you later, Anne. So, you talked to Michael? What happened, Luke? Well, my mother died, John. Your mother? Yes. She got extremely sick and I had to take care of her. All my energy had to be dedicated to her. Eventually she passed away. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. There was nothing we could do. Can we please change the subject now? This is neither the time nor the place for this. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Rita, may I ask you something? Oh, hi there, John. Yes, of course. What's up? How hard did Luke take it? Uh, his mother's death, I mean. Oh, pretty hard. She was still young. That was years ago. Anne was nine or ten years old, so... That long ago? I had no idea. Yeah, Luke was down for quite a while. I thought it was much more recent. How did he handle it? There's this old recording of his mother singing to him when he was a baby. He used to tuck Anne in her bed with that little doll that belonged to his mother. And he'd sing that same song to get her to sleep or whenever she was feeling blue. During the period after he passed away, he listened to that recording almost every day. One night he fell asleep on the couch and when I went looking for him, he had a headset over his ears and that doll held against his chest. I guess it was his way to keep her close to him. Of course. It makes sense. Well, he eventually got over it. Apparently. 
After all, it's only natural that you see your parents die and not the other way around. I also believe his work helped him cope. His work? I thought he left the company to take care of his mother. What? No, um, not at all. It was all so fast. Actually, the company took off slightly after she passed away, thankfully. I can't even dare to imagine what would have happened if you went bankrupt. But you're saying he's still the CEO of the company? He is, yes. I... Oh, thank you, Rita. You're welcome, John.